Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, MLB The Show 18, we are having a few players made their debut. So, a lot of changes in our lineup. Gonna get right into it. As you can see, we did uh, obtain our Diamond Pee Wee Reese from the challenge in order to get runs, hits, etc. From our um, Harold Reynolds, we were able to get him. So, we're gonna go into the lineup. So, we have George Springer leaning off at center field. He does have plus four contact in power versus righties today. So, gold hitting. A gold uh, fielder as well. I did obtain him by doing the silver for gold exchange. And really happy. Second year in a row he's on the squad. So great lead off man. Batting second we do have uh, Didi Gregorius. Uh, shortstop. You can also play second or third. Uh, so well rounded player. Just like Springer. Gold hitting. Gold fielding. And here it is. Pee Wee Reese is going to be our uh, third batter of the team. We're going to put him on shortstop. Silver hitting, but he does have 112 discipline, 98 vision, 98 clutch. Uh, he's good with contact. Um, he's a great fielder. As you can see, he's a diamond fielder. Great to have him around in the infield. Batting for a cleanup hitter, Justin Smokes. As you can see, he is a plus 10 power in contact versus righty. So being a switch hitter, 94 power against right, 68 contact against right. Um, so, of course, a great hitter. Having him switch is fantastic. Anthony Rendon does have nine plus nine power in contact versus righty as well. Uh, so he's a great power hitter, gold hitter. Francisco Mejia, diamond card, is a great hitter as well. So we've got a lot of power going down the middle in this lineup. Uh, so gold hitting, gold fielding as well. So he's going to be our catcher. Kevin Kiermaier is amazing on the field, really fast. He's going to be our diamond center, uh, diamond right fielder. I'm sorry. Austin Jackson also is going to be a, a new addition to the lineup over and left. Great player, gold fielder, very fast as well. So a lot of players making their debut. So new cards, we got uh, Springer, Gregorius, Reese, uh, Mejia. He just played one game for me in the last episode, of course. Um, Kiermaier, I had him a while, but Jackson. So we got new uh, additions to the lineup. And in our bench, Pedro Alvarez. This guy is ridiculous. He is a silver card, but he has 104 power versus righties. I've used him in the previous event, and he did just home run after home run after home run. Every single game, big hits, doubles, etc. So he's a beast. One of the best silver cards, I would say, in the game for sure. Drew Stubbs, really fast, 87 speed. I got him and Lorenzo Cain at 88 for uh, potential pinch runners. Scott Kingery is a new card as well. Uh, new future stars who got in the lineup. Gold hitting, so good contact. Hitter, 80 and 80 against righties and lefties. And Mark Reynolds, a lot of power versus righties. Got a new card in him as well. Uh, so gold breakout, um, Mark Reynolds. And in our bullpen, so a couple additions as well. We still got our Josh Shader, which is a 87 now. Brad Hand, uh, newest addition to the bullpen, needed another lefty. Of course, we still got Cody Allen. Cody Allen does have plus 11 hits in case per nine. So, uh, right now, Cody Allen is sitting at 109 case per nine and also at 97 hits per nine. So, really good. And Dylan Betances, this guy is unreal. Plus 11 hits per nine, case per nine. Just look at those numbers. His fastball is 100 kilometers an hour. I can reach, uh, I'm sorry, his fastball is 100 miles an hour does have a knuckle curve in the low 80s so ridiculous <laughs> pitcher I'm really happy to have him in the lineup uh, rotation got Verlander Keuchel Ellis David Price also a newest addition on the team as well as Fernando Romero future star so a bunch of new players really looking forward to use him it's going to uh, rank seasons game currently 7-7 seven and seven, so sitting is, uh, right at 500 see if we can move our way up the ladder before the end of May all right, so we found our opponent, Boston Strong, and he does have Rich Hill on the mound, and we are going with Fernando Romero, Future Stars card. So we're going to go up against Trey Turner, so extremely fast player right off the bat, Ellsbury, Shaw, Sano, Garcia, Nunez, Gartner, and Ruiz. So we're going to definitely have to keep Trey Turner off the bases at all costs. That guy can run. Alright, so we chase a couple hey guys, down the zone, see if we can right get him there. to chase the third one here. Heck, got a bit too much of the zone, exactly but we do start the game right off there. with a strikeout. I'll try to keep the ball away from him. The 0 -1 -1 delivery. 
And the slider oh, that was close. A lot of close pitches. Not getting the calls. All right. Oh, a swing and a drive to center field. Draw, and driven a to center field. Um, and we're going to make the catch. Third out. Oh, Avisal Garcia is battling out there. A lot of foul balls. We're still sitting at 0-2. We can get him with a high heater. We do 98 miles an hour for Romero. And that's another strikeout. Nasty spin rate. Get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. Mejia hits it hard, but I believe I got under it. See if he can carry. Come on, keep going. God, Francisco Mejia goes deep, and it's 1-0. So that's fantastic because if I want to start working on that Gary Carter program, I do need RBIs, I do need home runs, I do need hit from, from Mejia. So it's going to add to the program, that's great. So like I mentioned, I don't want Trey Turner on the bases. We really got to get him out. High fastball, he chases it, 97 upstairs. Another strikeout for Romero, so good start to the game so far. So two gone now for Jacoby Ellsbury. We ground ball second, and that's going to be the inning. So a quick one, two, three inning for Romero. Romero hits it to left. Is that going to drop? And he dies, and he can't get it. From Romero, our pitcher, is going to get an extra base hit. I'm going to go to third. He's going to make it. Come on, dive. A triple for Romero. Wow. George Springer. Let's see if we can get him in. That was a good pitch to hit. Drop the PCI, though. Springer's going to lift it up. I don't know if that's going to be deep enough. Oh, that, that is pretty deep. We're going to try. See if we can tag up Romero to home. He is going to make it. Another run is added. It is a 2 nothing game. Our pitcher, Romero, gets it done by himself with the help of George Springer. Well hit the other Gregorius way. hits it the in the gap. That's going to be extra bases for Sir Didi. He's going two. around first. Arms going around second. I'm going for third. third. Didi Gregorius with our second triple of the inning. Fantastic. And here is Pee Wee Reese to see if we can get Didi in. All we need is a base hit here. Oh, or that. Oh no, ball, don't come back. Home plate. Gregorius at third with two away. And this is off that goes away Ruiz from the catcher. Didi's going to come away. home, and, and it's a 3 nothing game. Good eye by Peewee, let that go. Wild pitch, Didi scores. Him out. So he's down on wow, Pee Wee can't make contact. Unfortunately, Pee Wee goes down, but 3 0. We do get a couple of runs in that inning. So it's a pretty good bottom of the third. Romero back on the mound. See if we can keep it up. Ground ball right into the shift. First out. Riding in once again, Miguel Sano. He yells, I know I bad. He does have a lot of power. So, high <laughs> fastball. I know he's going to chase those. Slider down and away. Let's go. Nice. All right. So, up 0 oh, and 2 and Sano. Let's go with the low changeup. Good eye to take it. Going to go with a high fastball. See if we can chase it out of the zone. I love a well executed change up, especially one Let's go. 99 upstairs, and then her strike out. Romero is dealing on the mound today. Or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. One and one the count. 
All right, 96. He is definitely going to chase the fastballs upstairs. So let's climb the ladder even more. See if we can get another K to end the inning. And he's going to pop up the center. So another 1-2-3 one, two, two, inning for Romero. Things are going quite well so far. Here's Justin Smoke now, looking to put the ball in play Leading here. He went down line. on strikes in his first at bat. One of the keys to securing a win, oh. they want to keep the pressure on. Oh, God, under that one with Smokey. Come on, go foul. Go in the stands. Oh, he's going to make the catch. The catch See if we can get him to chase a little fastball now. Goes down and gets it. He's going to ground too short. Reese he's fast you can get him at first no and our shortstop can't even make the throw in time so uh, they're gonna call that a base hit so a first hit of the game for our opponent it's pretty unfortunate peewee couldn't get a good arm on it unfortunately we have another base runner deal with see if we can turn two here let's go double play all right, Dylan Batances of the New York Yankees. He is crazy. I mean, he does have knuckle uh, curve, and he does have a fastball that goes up to 100 miles an hour. So, um, really looking forward to use him. Let's go. Mitch Henniger is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench. 99 right off the bat. Let's go in the knuckle curve. Swinging strike here, nothing in one. From 99 to 84. Wow. Let's see if we can get him to go with another high fastball. Nice. 100 miles an hour from Dylan Betances. Straight fire. 99 right at the corner. Let's go with a serve ball here. Wow. Betances is unreal. 100 miles an hour. There goes Turner. Six pitches, six strikes. Stepping up now, Jacoby Ellsbury. And there goes our immaculate inning. <laughs> oh, well. 98. Knuckle curve right at the corner. Let's go with a high heat to finish it off. He's going to go 100 miles an hour. Dylan Batanz is close to off. 3 nothing win for the Rockets. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance. Kept so, the Fernando Romero, eight innings, result, one hit, one walk, eight strikeouts, well, you know no runs allowed. He's going to get the win. Batances is going to get the save. Awesome so, as far as our hitting stats, not a lot of offense apart from that uh, third really inning. Of course, Gregorius went for three with that triple. Francisco Mejia did get the solo homer. Pee Wee Reese did go one for three with an infield hit. And of course, Fernando Romero did get a triple and a run on his own. So that's going to be it for the game. Let's see what we get for a post game reward. All right, so our reward is going to be Nationals Park in Washington. So currently sitting at a 382 rating, um, so 8 and 7. So you should be able to get one game in and get it to the all-star level. So, yeah, that's going to be it. The great debut for Romero to get some a chance to debut a few other cards. Homer with uh, Francisco Mejia. I'm going to go into his program real quick and just uh, show you guys. So, as I mentioned, so... Mejia, one game mission, got to get two runs with him to get that mission, so unfortunately was only able to get one, but hopefully we can get two uh, in the near future with him. So we got a total of 20 hits, two homers, and six RBIs. We got one out of two homers, one out of six RBIs, 15 hits left, and then we'll be able to complete the Mejia program. And with that, uh, I'm not sorry, so Gary Carter, right here. Uh, if we complete the Mejia, the Saltalmachia, and the Norris program, that will be 50% uh, of the program right there, which will allow us to unlock Gary Carter's rookie silver card and just move up with uh, statistical missions, exchange uh, catchers, jerseys, etc. Hopefully, we can get that diamond Gary Carter, so diamond hit and diamond fielding from the Montreal Expo. So hopefully, in the future, we can get that card. A lot of career arcs that we can do. And uh, from what I understand, MLB is going to release some more career arcs as well. I did start the Stan Musial program. So I did get his uh, Impact Veteran Bronze card. 
So with this one here, impact very unusual. I did get it three RBIs needed, four out of twenty five hits. Uh, throughout the year, it's going to be events and um, seasons, I believe, to get those autographs and bobbleheads to work on the program. So it's basically what it is: you exchange those autographs, those bobbleheads, you get those statistical missions, and I already got two uh, souvenirs in. So it's going to go towards the ninety ninety more than usual. Those stats are unreal. 125 contact, both sides of the plate. 106 power against lefties. 125 vision and clutch. 108 discipline. And, uh, of course, he's a diamond hitter. Silver fielding, but uh, he can play right, first, left, or center. So, hopefully, we can get our hands on those souvenirs throughout the year. Complete the program, of course. Um, a lot of new programs were added in the past few weeks here. So Austin Jackson, I do already have. They added a new diamond program here. Victor Robles, uh, Bailey, Romero is the one that I just used in a previous game. 81 overall gold. Um, and actually, look at that. I'm able to complete his program based on the last game I just played with him. So let's go. We complete our first program. So that's a bonus. I didn't even realize that. So... Basically, to get Romero, you did have to exchange twin souvenirs starting pitcher. These programs are pretty easy to start. So, we have completed his program. A lot of them to do. It's really fun. Just love the idea. I'm going to go after Adam Lane soon because uh, he's a Toronto Blue Jay. So, hopefully get him on the squad pretty soon as well. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.